The development agenda for Africa has been characterized by efforts to, re to reverse the negative effects of the historical processes. The MDGs must be seen as an ideal that has validity in its own right. For us, we approach 2015 more as a timeline that is reached in the context where the ideals have not been fulfilled completely. We must not create an impression that we have moved to a new era and that we have accomplished everything on the MDGs or that the part we chartered on the MDGs were not worthy. The common purpose which the MDGs has achieved, the positive profile, the sense of ownership, and the ability to focus attention and resources on key development areas should not be compromised by debate on the post-2015 agenda. It is important that these issues are addressed in the context of intergovernmental processes within the rule-based multilateral system. Coming back to the theme of the workshop, which is governance, again, this is an area where the African continent is, the sh is in the short space of time of the constitution of the African Union, driven by its own needs to improve governance in order to consolidate efforts to achieve the MDGs. Of particular concern is how demands outside the continent for governance reform became conditionalities for the much needed donor assistance. Therefore, an approach on governance must take into account what has, been, what has taken place in Africa, especially considering the African peer review mechanism and the institution in place to support and improve governance. It is our belief that talk of a new development agenda is a misnomer as we are still faced with the same development challenges and equally we feel it is important that the issue of governance in African countries is approached with care. We are not starting from scratch and therefore must build on what we have done up to now. We do not need new norms, we need assistance and means of implementing what is on the table. Where the focus should be on governance in relation to the development agenda is on the democratization of global institutions. The challenge is how we in the 20th century align the institution of the United Nations and especially the United Nations Security Council to ensure that they are truly representative of the people. We need to strengthen the organs of the United Nations themselves to make them effective governance structures, especially because it enjoys universal membership. On global governance, we cannot leave out the in international financial institutions. It's imperative that they are made proactive and sensitive to the poor. We know that South Africa has all the institutions in place. So for us, the question is, what, I what in relation to governance that is that if we do not have in place, would impede the poverty eradication and creation of jobs and a better life for all. We must build together the African Commission on Human and People's Rights, specialized technical committees, and the African peer review mechanism. As we go forward, the collective efforts and commitments of the community of nations to the development agenda must be inspired by the spirit and intent of what has been done before, in particular the Millennium Development Declaration and the MDGs. Above all, developing countries must have a sense of ownership 
of the processes and commitments that will arise out of this. I thank you very much.